Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to the Suburban Rifleman. There's a trap shoot going on on the adjacent range. Uh, that's what all the fire is about. But I don't have a lot of light, so I'm going to go ahead and shoot this rifle. Um, this is my 1912 vintage Model 94. It appeared in an earlier video, at least one earlier video, and I'll put a link to that in the uh, at the end of this video. So I don't want to do a whole lot of talking about it, but I have no idea where this Lyman Tang mounted peep sight is shooting. So I've got a target set up at 25 yards and another one set up at 50 yards. This rifle, I'm sure, has not been shot in, I would say, at least 50 years. So, um, now I have been over it with a fine tooth comb. Um, it belonged to a friend of my dad's. Then it belonged to my dad. Then I traded my dad some stuff for it, so now it's mine. Um, I did have taken the opportunity to completely detail strip it, clean every little part, look for anything that might be broken or out of whack. The bore on this rifle is very good. Um, the crown isn't the greatest. Uh, obviously, somebody was cleaning with a steel cleaning rod uh, from the muzzle, but that's not necessarily a kiss of death. Um, so I guess that's all I really have to say. Again, I'll put a link to the earlier video at the end of this video, because I really want to go ahead and shoot before I run out of light. So let's do that. I've got a old box of Winchester silver tips here and I've got some hand loads. So we'll try a couple of different loads. I just want to see if I can get on paper at 25 and then see if I can get a group at 50. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, this will certainly appear on the channel again. I just am at a point where I can't wait to shoot it anymore. So. Here it goes. First shot in 50 years. It's dead on left to right because this uh, tang site obviously has no windage adjustment but it looks like we're right on uh, vertically so let's take another shot and see how it goes take a look at that target as you can see you can see why they called these the top eject hence very difficult to mount a skirt so actually not a bad group at 25 um, not really sure what was going on here but the other four rounds went into about an inch so uh, not too bad for a hundred and eleven year old lever gun that's been used quite a bit. Let's take some shots at fifty now.
So 50 yards wasn't that great. I'm not even going to go over that target. Um, but I'm just going to move the camera around back here and try taking some shots at steel at 200. I'm really running out of light here. So I just want to try taking like five shots up at the steel. Um, this was still shooting quite high at 50. And I want to see if I can uh, clang some iron at 200. We'll see. All right, we'll try five shots at steel. See how this goes. I couldn't tell if I was hitting steel or not. Uh, anyway, this was just a fun exercise. I've been waiting to shoot this rifle uh, for almost a year at this point, and I know that the rifle's been waiting to be shot for about 50 years. And um, the group at 25 yards didn't look too bad. I really need to bring this out and uh, play around with it some more in the daylight when I have more uh, time uh, to experiment with this and uh, when I do that I'll be sure to get it on camera and I hope to see each of you then. Later guys!